If you're seeing this, things might look a little bit different around here. We have a new podcast name, which we're very excited to talk to you about today and give you all behind the scenes on renaming, a couple of tips on branding and what you can expect on the show. So let's get right to it. Hi friend. If you are a small business owner who would love to grow your brand online, focus on the right marketing strategies for you and be able to promote your business with confidence, then let's connect. My name is Jessica Wanglin. I'm a wife and a mom of two, and I've been an online business owner for more than 10 years. I'm passionate about helping you to create and grow a business that works for your life. On the show, we talk about marketing ideas, content creation, website strategy, and productivity to make great things happen in your business today. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. I have been saying just in general terms, like the podcast for a long time, because I have known for months that I have had to change the name of my show for a couple of reasons we're gonna get into today. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of behind the scenes about tips on branding, what to do perhaps to try to name some things, but also help you understand what is going to be on the new show, why I decided to change the name and name it what I have, and just give you a couple ideas of how to get connected with some of the work that we do and get some inspiration for your small business marketing today. So if you don't know me, please come and say hi. You can find me on Instagram. That's the best way to say hello. Please send a message anytime. But we are changing the name of the show and it reflects like kind of all the things. So I'll be updating it there. I'll be updating it on my website. And I've done a couple of those things so far. Behind the scenes, my name is Jessica Wanglin. I have had an online business since 2009 when I started my home decor blog. In that time, I started a network marketing team and now I run my own brand where I teach people about website strategy, marketing for their small business and all those kind of things in between, particularly based around long form content that really is sustainable for your business. But I love having a website that helps you to grow your business. I love teaching people about websites and all the amazing things you can do on them. And I love talking about marketing in general because really it's the communication between what you do and how your audience finds out what you do and how to make all those connections. So without further ado, we had a podcast in that time period that I had started literally a week before COVID started in March of 2020. I looked at the published date of the first episode and it was like right before then. And so the podcast I originally had started was because I just had an idea for wanting to do a podcast. It's a very easy way to share content. You don't have to get all presented to do like a video. It can be, of course, fun, casual, conversational. And I just had for a long time wanted to start one. And so I put together a podcast at the time called Clarity and Confidence. And that to me was like this overarching idea of what you wanted to have and be in your business. But it wasn't a very clear title. It didn't really tell people what I was talking about, what I was doing. And at the time, I started talking a lot about network marketing, which I don't really talk about too much anymore. And the topics really just have changed. Fast forward, I changed it to be more about marketing. So I revised the title of the podcast a couple of years in to be called um, Marketing and Mindset. Now, here's the thing with that title, which you may find out on your own business journey in terms of branding and things. A lot of names for businesses are taken. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of words. And at the end of the day, sometimes you can only combine the words in so many different variations. Unless you are naming a show after yourself, which many branding experts would not suggest you do, because if you're not well known, nobody is going to know also what your show is about or what you're talking about. But there's um there can be some difficulty in creating the name of something because again, a lot of the words are taken, a lot of the titles are not available, and it's generally kind of best practice that if you have a podcast or the name of a course even, or we're talking about like anything that you might be naming for your business, you can even be trademarking like a method. You have to be sure that that name of that something is available and it is not trademarked. And so that's, not, uh, you know, just a side tip in terms of a little bit about why the podcast name here is changing. In full disclosure, I am not a legal expert, so I do not have information further than that to say anything about podcast, about trademarks or naming things or registration marks or any of that kind of thing. But I knew after a little while when I had several episodes and actually a couple seasons of the Marketing and Mindset podcast published that there were other podcasts with very similar names. A lot of them have the word marketing in them. Um, there are some that were 
um, without the and or in other words, before, after it, things like that. None of the domains were available. And even more recently, like the podcast.com like domain that was not available anymore. And so I knew for a long time I had to change the name of it. Now, naming things is not that easy, <laughs> at least in my experience. I mean, maybe some people feel like you can pick a name for something and it really works and it goes with you, goes with your business. You can you can start the trademark process or registering it if that's what you're going to do. You can buy the domain for the domain name for it, which you know is highly suggested to do once you want to have a name for something specific. So I started to think about what to do and how to go through the renaming process for something for my business. Now, I could have actually just canceled the show at all in total. Like I have in full disclosure not been very consistent with the podcast for a long time. I'm on the fifth season and we are just at now our 50th episode, which is really exciting. But that's not many shows. That's 10 a year. Normally, you're supposed to have at least one a week, if not two, based on how fast you want to kind of, you know, accelerate your growth in terms of getting your name out there and being consistent with the show. I was not consistent with the podcast really at all. I had ideas for sometimes. I was always way overthinking about how I was going to do my content creation process. Was I going to do the podcast first? Was I going to write the blog post first? Was I going to post it on Instagram? So that becomes a part of it too. But the naming process in general, like I said, I knew it had to change because other people had combinations of marketing and or mindset in their um, podcast names in general. Now, another reason why I wanted to change the name of the show is because I never really got into the mindset component topic of what I wanted to talk about with it. I did a couple of times. We had some episodes in the past that were about um, inspiration, motivation, things like that, affirmations, which ironically were some of my higher ranked episodes. So if you haven't seen any of those, there is one about, um, let me go, it's like 40 affirmations that you can repeat. Um, Let me see the rankings, like if I can go to analytics and just find out what are my top 10 episodes. (laughs) It usually tells me. Okay, I'm not going to do that quick. So, but There were a lot of times I didn't really get into like that mindset part of it that I wanted to do in terms of like talking about productivity or talking about motivation or talking about, um, you know, like all that strategy behind it. I was specifically focusing in on marketing tactics so that they were really practical things that people could actually take and implement and have them be action oriented because that's what I really like about having a podcast and doing a blog and having a business is that people not only just kind of consume this advice, if you will, but that you can actually go and implement these things in your life in a very short amount of time, in a very practical way, and just things like that. So that's the second reason why I knew I had to change the name for the podcast. Now, here's the idea about naming. I knew that, like anything, it was just going to come to me one day to pick a new name for the show and that it was going to be something that I was just going to instinctively feel that it was correct and that I knew it was going to be the name that I wanted. Now, here's a couple of ideas that I went into thinking about how to pick the name and what it was going to be. So I wanted it to be general enough that it could be kind of just encompassing of a couple different things and topics that I was going to talk about on the show. I wanted to make sure that we could evolve kind of as like the conversation evolved, as marketing tactics evolves, as things like that. And I wanted it to be action oriented. So I wanted something that was going to be that you were going to look at and get excited at and think like, oh, I'm going to, I want to listen to these episodes. This sounds like something for me. Um, Let's go for it. Right. So again, without, without another further ado, I already said that the new name of the podcast is motivated, general, complete, overarching word that I know believes being driven to succeed, being goal oriented. Um, continuously learning, being passionate, being persistent, and having a positive mindset. So to me, the word motivated encompasses all those things. And that is going to be the new name of the show going forward. So if the cover looks a little different, if you typed in the word marketing and you couldn't find anything, that's why you know. Again, also, if past episodes were called Clarity and Confidence, that was the original name of the show. And then it was called Marketing and Mindset. And now we are straight up going with motivated. What are we going to talk about on the show? So let's cover that. In summary, motivated, the podcast is about small business marketing and lifestyle. So we're going to cover everything that I have been talking about more recently on the show, including website strategy, marketing for your small business, and content uh, creation 
strategy, techniques, ideas, all of those kind of things. But the idea though, too, is that we can also talk about some lifestyle things. Because if you've listened to the show for a little while, you know that one of the things I view, view and feel very strongly about is that we as women, as moms, as small business people, we have so much more going on with ourselves than just our businesses. <clears throat> we are busy people. We have life happening. There's a whole person to it. And so to me, that's where the lifestyle part is going to come into play, that perhaps in some episodes we can touch upon how business intersects with your lifestyle, how those things connect and overlap, what are things you can do to support one and the other. So that's the idea behind Motivated. So let me tell you a quick story about where the name came from, because like I said, I had been literally racking my brain for months and months about how to rename the show and what to do. I cannot tell you how many times I asked ChatGPT to give me ideas for the new name of a podcast that was going to be around XYZ. And there were horrible ideas. There was nothing that worked at all. They were not very good. I wasn't getting any inspiration. And so all of a sudden the other day, I went to pick up my kids from school and I was having um, kind of not a great hair day, right? We know those days. I have very curly, natural, like naturally curly hair. And after a day or two or a couple, after like the whole wash day, it gets kind of flat and just straightens out a little bit, whatever. So I was at one of those not so great hair days. So I'm like, let me just grab a hat, put it on, and I've, I'm going to go to school and pick up the kids. So I have this hat that my husband gave me. And it was like the funniest thing, random. It was a free sample that he got from like a company that does printing, you know, materials and things like that. He gets samples from these companies because he owns a marketing agency as well. And so um, and on the hat, it was all black. And on the hat in writing on the front, in also all black letters, it says motivated. And he's like, here, we got this free hat and I think it's perfect for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. This was like a year or two ago. <laughs> I've had this hat, baseball hat. And I don't ever wear clothes with logos or anything like that on them. So to have something like say words on it, there was like a stretch for me. But it worked so well because it was black on black, but you could still see like the um, the embroidery of it. But also because the word just perfectly, I think, reflects me and my lifestyle. I'm a very motivated person. I'm very internally motivated. You know, I have done all kinds of things to start my own business. I have my master's and my PhD. I'm like doing all the things, right? So it describes me. So I went, I put on this hat. I went to pick up the kids. <clears throat> and all of a sudden I was sitting in the car driving and I was like, that's it. That's the name of the podcast, Motivated. So I was super excited to get that clarity about it and just feel good about the name going forward. Now, listening to this, if you're a podcast coach, you might be like, this is not the best name for your show because nobody is searching the word motivated when they go to look for information. But we're going to work around that. So the cover art is going to have the title that it is Small Business Marketing and Lifestyle. I'm going to SEO the episode descriptions, uh, the show notes, things like that. And all of the podcast episodes, most of them, I should say, are also actually blog posts on my website as well. So that is another a whole other place where we do SEO. I'm getting that out there on Pinterest, et cetera, all the things that I will be writing the episodes about. So we will get found in different places. And of course, I absolutely would love to do collaborations with people to get the show out to more individuals, to get more people to find it. And a way that helps me to do that is for you to leave a written review on Apple. I would be really thrilled. It is the only way I actually know that people are listening to the show. Because otherwise, when you have a podcast, you get your episode statistics, your analytics, all those kind of things. But you have no idea what people are thinking when they're listening to the show. So after, and I'll tell you in full disclosure, I have, like I said, I started the show in March of 2020. And right now, this is technically season five, because I did now number the seasons by year that we went. So 2021, et cetera. So right now we're in season five. This is the 50th episode of the show. And I have how many downloads of the show? Not as many as I could or should have. Comparison, like that people have totally different download numbers. But as of like right now, I have about 14, just over 1400 downloads of the podcast. Some people get like 10,000 in like six weeks. So there's definitely a lot of room for improvement and growth on the show. And I know that it's been the slowish, slow, because I have not been consistent and I have not been uh, consistent both with publishing and with the message 
and with like sharing, quite honestly, behind the scenes. There's a lot of episodes that I've gone on and I've just like talked about like this, the information and I don't feel like maybe this is true or not true. You could certainly tell me that I've shared a lot so people can get to like know me and me personally in my life. So I'm going to make it a point to get to do that more and tell you a little bit about behind the scenes and what goes on. So that's the description about the new podcast name, what it is about, what it means to me, and what we're going to find out it about it. So again, Motivated Small Business Marketing and Lifestyle is going to be about using your small business in a way that works for you, get it, helping you get clear on your message, your audience, and your offers, developing an amazing and strategic website so that it serves as a powerhouse tool for your business, and talking about your unique marketing plan that just reflects your personality that matches your time that you have available to market your business and all like those things in between. So if that is you and your jam, I'm super excited for you to be here. Um, I will tell you a couple of things that have been on the show. When you go get to see this, some of the past episodes that we have talked about recently include an example of a coaching website that I did. If you are in mindset coaching or coaching in general, you can listen to that interview that I did with um, one of my website design clients so you can see. I also talk about website versus social media, how to match and figure out which one is for your business. Is a website relevant for your small business? Um, how to improve your focus as a small business owner? See, this gets into the, like, the lifestyle part of it a little bit. And then um, tips to organize your business ideas, like how to prioritize things, affiliate marketing and sales and things like that. So that's a little bit of what you are going to find on the show. Let me see if that's everything we wanted to create and cover. Of course, it absolutely is. So ways to find me, jessicawangland.com is my website. You can connect and see that in the show notes. That's where everything is. I keep it very updated. So you get to know everything that is going on behind the scenes. If you do have a website and you are collecting dust on it and it's not updated or branded to you, please come and watch our training about how to create a dynamic website strategy for your small business. Gives you ideas about how to refresh your site, take it to the next level, do some things this week to actually get the site working and get you excited about having a website and all the things you can do with it. That is at jessicawingland.com forward slash training. You will also find that in the show notes. And that is it. When you get to hear this and listen, please again, come leave a review. We would love to know that or find me on Instagram, tag me, take a screenshot and let me know what you thought of the show. Look for some really exciting, motivating things coming up on the new um, episodes going forward. Thanks so much for being here. Do you have a website that is collecting dust or maybe needs a makeover or perhaps does not match you or your business at all anymore? Then I invite you to come to my free 35 minute training about how to create a dynamic website strategy. This masterclass will help you get excited about your website again. Here's what we cover. Discover the power of what your website can do for you. Craft your winning website strategy. Get organized so you know what action steps to take after you watch the training give you ideas for where to start with content, a five second hack for knowing how to organize your blog, and the list of must have pages that every website should have and next level ones for even more advanced sites. I give you all of that at this free training at jessicawanglin.com forward slash training. Please come find it. And I look forward to seeing all the dynamic and amazing things you do for your website today. Thanks so much for listening to the show today. I really appreciate you being here. Please leave a rating and review so that helps more people to find our show and help them with their marketing and their mindset to grow their business with confidence. See you next time.